The medical technology sector employs over 40,000 people, the majority of which are based in our regions. And in many cases, they're based in small towns around Ireland as well. So they make a major contribution, both in terms of jobs and being the employers of choice in, in many locations around the country, but also the local contribution to the communities in which they're based. One of the key reasons that companies have been so successful in regional locations around the country is the fact that you know we've over 300 medical technology companies here in Ireland and it's a very close-knit community. It's not just uh, major OEMs and manufacturing products here, but it's also local sub-suppliers and Irish SMEs. And it's the way those companies collaborate and, and partner with each other to everything from supply of materials, engineering services and, uh, and, and other products and services that really helps um, the medical technology sector to thrive here. If you look at Stryker in Ireland, it has really grown and flourished over the last 22 years since we opened our first facility in 1998. And, and, and our facilities in Ireland, of which there are five manufacturing facilities and one global innovation centre, are somewhat a microcosm of Stryker. Stryker is a, a really diversified uh, company for medical devices. We have a very wide portfolio. And if you look at where what we have here in our Ireland facilities, we make things from uh, knee implant or knee prosthesis uh, to hip implants or prosthesis, depending on the country you, you are. Well, Ireland has a great reputation in terms of its regulatory regime here and I think for medical technologies companies it's such a highly regulated environment they want to know that they're going to a destination that has an exemplary track record in this space so the health products regulatory authority here is responsible for the regulation and the implementation of the various EU directives around medical devices and it takes a very pragmatic approach to doing that so it works not just with the industry as a whole but with individual companies around helping them when they get set up to ensure that they've all of their systems in place to be compliant. We do partner with IDA. They are another vital component of that ecosystem and that partnership. And really IDA have done a tremendous job in helping create that ecosystem, that word I keep using. And they focus a lot on creating the right environment for companies like Stryker to flourish. And also are very interested and cognizant of what are the things we need or what are the supports uh, to continue to be successful? You know, they're very proactive in, in, in that regard. So the Irish workforce has a great reputation for flexibility and adaptability. You know, we continually score within the top um, one or two um, countries in the world for how we adapt uh, as a nation and how our workforce adapts and responds to change within industry. We're part of a very powerful ecosystem in Ireland at the moment. And if you look at the, the industry as a whole, there are nine of the top 10 medical devices located in Ireland or 17 of the top 20. So. That is an environment where we have a lot of companies in clusters across Ireland. So really we have a rich pool of talent to really work with. As the breadth and depth of the medical technologies portfolio shows, Ireland has the talent pool, the ecosystem, the business and regulatory environment and the government supports to ensure the companies not just have a successful start here, but that they build long-term operations that add value for their businesses.